why it is important to understand fiqh, jurisprudence. You know, Imam Shafi rahmatullahi listen to the people you try to follow. If you check his life history, he had memorized the end, because two of the most famous fuqaha were Imam Abu Hanifa and Imam Shafi rahmatullahi You have Imam Malik and Imam Hanbal, but Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi got the most followers in the world. Uh, Imam Shafi rahmatullahi just two, three little points. He memorized the entire Quran at the age of seven years. At what age? Seven. The entire Quran. And at the age of 10 years, he memorized the ahadith of Muatta ibn Malik. Ten years, all the hadith. Ten years. Seven years memorized the whole Quran. And as I say that, I remember the incident that happened in a masjid close by, a little masjid with some little people. One of our students who was 15 years, 15 years, went to lead Salah. And one little idiot told him, you too young to lead Salah. What's going on? Because we don't know Islam. We don't know fiqh. We don't know jurisprudence. And this is a problem I see happening in the Muslim world, especially today. A lot of people want to do their own self-thought on analysis of the Quran and Hadith without getting guidance, without studying. I'm not saying it for us, but without studying from these a'imma and scholars, Imam uh, Malik, Rahmatullahi, Imam Shafi, Imam Hanbal, Imam Abu Hanifa, without getting their diagnosis and analysis of the incidents and the situation of the Quran and Sunnah. You take a man praying, look at a boy 15 years, Balik, leading people in Tarawih Salah, leading people in Ramadan in Asia and Maghrib, and a regular Salah on a regular month, say you're not qualified to lead Salah. Because we don't understand Islamic jurisprudence. And it happens right in our backyard. It, it hurts to see the kind of ignorance we have around town. And then the regular community toes that line because we all a bunch of ignorant people. Allah forgive me for saying that. But that's why fiqh is so important. A lot of people don't even understand the, 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 the lifestyle of Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi, Imam Malik, and Imam Hanbal. And I'm saying this because if we understand the fiqh, we'll understand Qurbani, and we'll understand Eid, and we'll understand what we should do and what we shouldn't do, and all of us wouldn't make our own laws. Imam Abu Hanifa Rahmatullahi, speaking of Imams, we'll just touch a little bit on the Qurbani, but we conclude. He was born approximately 70 years after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away. After him, Imam Malik Rahmatullahi came on the scene. After him, Imam Shafi came on the scene. In fact, the year Imam Shafi was born was the year Imam Abu Hanifa passed away. Then you had Imam Hanbal coming down the line. Bukhari that you read? Imam Bukhari was born 184 years after the Prophet ﷺ passed away. He started accumulating hadith almost 200 years after the Prophet ﷺ passed away. You see, sometimes we argue on hadith and Quran and Bukhari and Shafi and, and we don't have a clue what's going on. You see, if you don't understand the structure, you would not be able to verify the fact. This is not a Pakistani, Trinidadian, Bangladeshi thing that we put our own opinion on. It's not politics. This is an Obamacare health system that everybody voices their opinion. This is fiqh and jurisprudence and Quran and Sunnah. That's why it is so important that we study this. So year after year, we don't have to make the same mistakes for Eid and Qurbani and the whole nine yards. At the age of 11 years, Imam Bukhari was already questioning people older than him on the authenticity of hadith. 11 years. 
are you talking about? And here we don't want a 15 years boy who memorized the Quran to lead Salah. You see the difference with the education of the people? Allahu Akbar. Uh, it, it weeps in my, uh, my heart weeps to see this kind of stupidity. But what am I going to do? What could I do? I can only, can't beat nobody with this. Could at least talk about it. Because the hadith says, if you can't stop it with your hands, you speak about it. And if I don't speak about it, it's the weakness of Iman. Just on the 